Good afternoon, everybody. It is my pleasure to welcome each one of you this engaging webinar with the theme, Structured Products, an Innovative Approach to Commodity Derivatives. I am C Chamber of Commerce, amongst the oldest chambers of commerce in the country and NCDX, India's leading agricultural commodities derivatives exchange, have been jointly conducting seminars from time to time as part of awareness, education, and training in commodity price risk management. This webinar is one of the ongoing series. As we know, agriculture continues to be the country's lifeline. Almost half of our workforce directly or indirectly earns its livelihood from farm and farm related activities. Indian agriculture is subject to several uncertainties. Our Indian farmer is the biggest risk taker and an entrepreneur as farmers continue to, to, to live with the uh, un unpredictability of monsoons. So risk management is a key element in making a robust and sustainable agricultural system. A key risk management tool is hedging for price risks. For the value chain participants, volatility in commodity prices often exerts a negative impact on profitability. Agri-derivatives can help manage the price risk. As you all know, as market regulator in recent times, SEBI has taken a number of proactive steps in order to deepen and widen the community commodity derivatives market. New products like options trading and index trading have been introduced. Yeah. Also, new market participants have been allowed. Mutual funds, alternate investment, fund three category, portfolio management services, etc. Today, we are going to discuss a structured product index, which is an innovative approach to agri-derivatives trading. I would therefore like to welcome all the expert speakers today. Mr. Sunil Katke, head. Commodities Currency Access Securities Limited, Mr. Ajay Kedia, Director, Kedia Commodity Com Trade Private Limited, Mr. Abhishek Rajulkar, AVP NCDX, and our own Mr. G. Chandrasekhar, Economic Advisor, IMC and Director, IMC ERTS. I would like to welcome now all the participants. A small little word about uh, IMC, which has been established in 1907 and having its headquarters in Mumbai. This is an apex chamber of commerce and industry in the Western region. It has a membership base of over 5,000 and over 150 trade associations affiliated to it. Together, IMC represents and advocates the interests of over 400,000 business and industry establishments across the country. Importantly, IMC is a semi-accredited training institution for commodity derivatives. The theme chosen for this year is Engaging Maharashtra, Building India. I once again welcome all of you to this contemporary and thought-provoking discussions. Good evening and thank you. Now may I request Mr. Abhishek uh, Rajurkar to take the uh, lead and address the participants. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, sir. Uh, I welcome all the participants, uh, Mr. Sunil Katke, from Axis Securities, Mr. Ajay Kedia uh, from Kedia Advisory. And uh, Mr. Chandra Shikharji is there on the call, but somehow uh, due to some technical reasons, uh, his video is not able to work out. Uh, before I start with the presentation, I would like to uh, just give you a background that uh, uh, like recently, SEBI has taken many initiatives, many reforms in the agri-commodity market and allowing commodity index futures contract is one of the milestone, I would say, in that direction. And this, last year we have launched Agridex as a composite index on the exchange platform. And uh, now we have uh, uh, sectoral indices on our platform. So yesterday only we have started trading with the one of the sectoral indices that is, that is Guarex. And I'm going to give a little bit information about Guarex and uh, we will talk about also the one of the other sectoral indices that will be launched soon on exchange platform. So Anita, uh, you have my PPT or should I share my one? You can share it, you can share it. 
okay i am not able to share uh, now try no uh, it's disabled somehow so now try sir yeah sure yeah now it's so i hope it's visible now so as i said uh, we have recently launched uh, 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 two new indices one is guarex and another one is soidex and we have also started trading guarex uh, index futures uh, from yesterday and we uh, have a very good response as you know agridex has given a tremendous return in last one year around more than 60% so uh, agridex in that sense has been a, one of the key indicator for the agricultural futures market and uh, now with the guarex uh, we have uh, sectoral uh, commodities you know in place wherein one can actually trade the guar complex without worry uh, you know worry about delivery and all that the benefits that we will see in the upcoming slides so yes we have already now launched guarex and uh, uh, pretty soon we are going to launch futures on soidex as well as guarex and soidex are part of our portfolios uh, these two indices are based on you know for liquid commodities or the four most liquid commodities i would say traded on in the exchange platform guar seed uh, in india accounts for 80% of the world's production and it is one of the key and most valued agricultural export commodity that we have rajasthan uh, is accounting for around 7 to 80% in india for the production soybean and soy oil are there uh, in the soydex of course uh, so i mean also is one of the one of the key uh, commodity in, in india which is produced uh, in mp maharashtra gujarat rajasthan so these commodities are mainly part of the index so uh, what we have done is uh, we have given them adequate weight in the index so that they can represent their part in the index and we have made sure that the performance of this index since these are the price based indices and uh they have given a very good response uh from the market participants uh, if you see the back calculated data over the last 3 years uh, uh or for that matter from 2020 you see the the good returns from the guarex and from the soidex as well uh, just to give you about the contract specification i will not get into much technical so uh the the contracts that we have launched yesterday are are trading with the tick size of 1 rupees and it has 100 units it's a, a 100 rupees value in one tick uh, these contracts are being traded from 9 to 5 on an exchange platform and uh, they have a very minimum initial margin so you may ask why sectoral indices are important so uh, basically these are the less cost products so we have the less cost uh, initially we have kept it at zero uh when it comes to transaction cost or the risk management fee and we worry about delivery and all that settlement process which one has to go through commodity uh, index futures sorry commodity futures so and also these Uh, indices can be used for diversification of portfolio since they have a very low correlation with other asset classes and indices now recently uh, uh, sebi has also allowed cross margin benefit in these indices so pretty soon exchange is going to allow that benefit uh, uh, you know on on the uh, platform and uh, there are other benefits which you can definitely gain while trading the index which is calendar spread trading and index arbitrage trading so multiple strategies which one can use with the nifty 50 index or the uh, you know sensex futures uh, those same strategies can be applied with little bit of tweak uh, in in the strategy so uh, that's a small presentation that i had for uh, for you now i, I will hand over the 
the next uh, thing to Mr. Uh, Sunil Katke. Okay. Uh, thank you, Abhishek, uh, for a detailed presentation. In fact, uh, you covered most of the aspects and, and in, in a much simpler way so that even a normal participant or a newbie can also understand. Uh, see, I represent a bank-led uh, broking house, so we tend to interact with a lot of uh, retail participants. When I say retail, uh, ideally, you know, people who are looking for a decent return on investment, but who do not wish to fall into, you know, giving or taking delivery kind of uh, trades. So when we meet uh, such clients, you know, they, they uh, range from 50,000 rupees investment uh, uh, grade to even 5 crore investment grade. Uh, and, and they are retail, basically, they, they do not run an institution or they do not run a uh, corporate firm as such. So, so for them, uh, you know, uh, new products like indexes, sectorial indexes, provide a unique trading opportunity or investment opportunity where uh, these contracts, as you rightly mentioned, they're all cash settled and there is no threat of uh, delivery kind of thing. So one can hold it till the expiry. And secondly, it provides them uh, that flexibility of, uh, you know, taking a view on an entire sector. Uh, ideally, uh, from 2003 till last year, we, we had individual commodity futures and option contracts. So if somebody wants to uh, take a call, uh, obviously they had to invest in a single commodity uh, instrument. Now they have that opportunity like we have Agridex. It is a composite of 10 agricultural commodities. And uh, we have seen the prices uh, were around 1000 when it got listed. And now it is close to 1600, as you rightly mentioned. Uh, people who took a view on that sector were able to kind of earn 60% ROI. And similarly, now uh, you're talking about, say, Soedex, and then we are talking about Gorex. Uh, so somebody who doesn't wish to take a position in a single commodity uh, future contract or option contract, which is again due for uh, delivery settlement, uh, and who doesn't want to exit before the tender period starts or something like that, obviously one can go for the index uh, futures and options. And if we look at a macro level, uh, you know, uh, setup of India. India is, as as rightly mentioned, more than 50% of the population is employed by agri-bagged, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, work basically. That means uh, people have knowledge, huge amount of people have knowledge on agri, but uh, they lack the knowledge of how they can utilize that and convert that into return on investment using financial instruments. So uh, if we compare globally, uh, you know, if we talk about US, uh, more than 55% of the earning, uh, you know, uh, category of citizens, they invest into financial instruments. Uh, from UK, if we compare 33% of, uh, you know, people who are uh, earning income, they are a part of, uh, you know, the financial markets. If we talk about our neighbors, China, 27% of uh, the population which earns money, you know, they invest in uh, financial instruments like, uh, you know, equities and commodities. When we compare that number with India, it is close to 3%. This itself shows the kind of potential we have as we move ahead. Uh, so, so the derivative contracts that we have on offer, uh, obviously over a period of time, we'll keep on adding new products. We'll keep seeing new products being added. It is a good step forward, I can say. And from a retail perspective, people who do not wish to give or take delivery, people who love leverage, because uh, if I want to buy an index, I only need to invest 10% of the total contract value. So if I'm talking about, uh, say, Guarex, if the contract price is around 6,000 rupees and the lot size is 100, so contract value is around 6 lakh. So my margin investment is only 10% of 6 lakh, which is 60,000 rupees. So a retail customer with 60,000 rupees can take a view on Guar complex, basically. And similarly, if somebody has a bullish view on overall agricultural market based on uh, the monsoon scenarios and all, they can, uh, you know, simply invest 60, 70,000 rupees and take a call on, uh, you know, agri-dex uh, contracts. So uh, this provides multiple opportunities, flexible uh, opportunities for retail participants, not only from trading perspective, but from investment perspective as well. You can buy and hold it for a couple of months time. Uh, if you are an investor, you can simply buy and sell during the day because there is de decent amount of volatility since the investment is only 10%, even if the volatility is half a percent for the day the the you know trader earns five percent return five percent return in a day for a high risk trader okay. uh, index is something which is good and uh, india ranks number two in farm up, output so so basically we have that potential like i said only three percent of the population invests in financial markets so there is a huge uh, scope for for india to look forward and uh, if we talk about the benefits uh, you know as as i mentioned uh, decent leverage is available, but now if we talk about, say, uh, soya complex as, as such, soydex as such, 
the market timings are 9 am to 9 pm so this provides kind of 12 hours market uh, timing for uh, somebody who wishes to uh, buy and sell during the day uh, see uh, we we always need to remember that retail participants are key uh, to to derivative markets because they provide liquidity traders and speculators are necessary so that hedgers get counterparty so that they can pass on the risk basically or they can hedge the trades so so uh, retail investors need to have that customized product which suits their requirement as of now we had uh, individual commodities that were uh, backed by delivery uh, obviously uh, 95% 96% of the population which participates on the derivative market they don't go for delivery so now we have uh, you know index uh, futures contract and sectorial futures contracts are available even options contract may follow soon uh, so so these provide that flexibility for a investor or trader to hold the contract till the last date so so 70% of the total population that we see total participation we see today on the exchange is is from retail setup who do not have uh, you know any any direct linkage to uh, giving or taking delivery that means these people are purely here for their trading and investment purpose and these sort of uh, uh, instruments definitely provide uh, uh, you know uh, uh, opportunity for people to earn that that extra return on investment beyond the traditional fixed deposit returns that we talk about now uh, why go for uh, these things because obviously a retail investor uh, would like to di diversify their uh, overall portfolio risk so commodity being a part of a portfolio it has proven in the past that it reduces your risk by a significant margin and globally uh, most of the institutions they keep 18 to 20 percent of their corpus into commodities and uh, if we talk about agri commodities in particular internationally uh, one third of the overall portfolio size in commodity comes from agri and and here in india also this scenario can actually uh, become true as we move ahead uh, only constraint that we see is the knowledge part because people have money people have knowledge but they don't know how to uh, encash that using the financial instruments or using the derivative platform and such sem seminars obviously are going to add value to uh, participants uh, who are new to the segment who do not know how to use this market to hedge their price risk or who do not know how to use their knowledge to multiply money so basically that is one one aspect of it and and if somebody doesn't want to take a view on a single commodity obviously take a view on the entire uh, segment or entire sector so that your risks are uh, minimal uh, if one commodity doesn't perform it doesn't uh, matter much to an uh, index which is comprising of uh, 10, 10 uh, different commodities. So, so that is something which adds more, more safety there. And, and uh, there is no fear of delivery, so you can tend to hold it till the expiry. So a so, uh, lot of things that uh, you know, uh, bring to the platter to a retail participant or a participant who is an investor basically who doesn't wish to materialize that into a physical delivery. So these, these things are uh, decent initiatives is what we can call it. And retail participants is something which I see uh, will will actually benefit from this. And over a period of time, we'll see decent uh, you know increment in the participation in Agridex or Guarex or even Soidex as as we move ahead. So so these are the points I wanted to highlight. And I, I think during the discussion, obviously we'll take some questions and we'll keep address some specific queries as well. So I'll I'll pass on the things to Ajay from here. One one second. One second. Uh, if you all don't mind, please allow me to interrupt. Uh, first of all, my most sincere apologies. I've had serious, uh, in the last 16 months, I don't think I faced this kind of a problem. But, but uh, I don't know what's gone wrong. There was some problem with my laptop. It went for some repair and servicing. It, it, it brought back at 4 o'clock. But anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry about this. I'm now using my, actually my daughter's laptop. Uh, anyway, um, uh, sorry about this again. I actually have a presentation to make. I want to thank Sunil for uh, all that he said, although I missed much of it. I also want to thank Abhishek for taking the uh, initiative. I, I wanted actually to make some opening remarks by uh, starting to talk about uh, Ajay, if you don't mind, I'm jumping the queue and I'm, I'm sure uh, you won't mind it. Your remark is most to, important for us. I want to start talking about these uh, uh, recent initiatives. I'm not able to share screen now, uh, but I'm going to be just uh, uh, talking about it. Now, SEBI, as we all know, is a commodity market, a commodity derivative uh, market regulator. Uh, SEBI has taken uh, a series of initiatives uh, over the last uh, two or uh, three years uh, to deepen and widen the commodity derivatives market. New products 
uh, have been uh, allowed to be launched by exchanges. New participants have been uh, allowed. New services uh, uh, are, are, are allowed. Mutual funds, as the president, in fact, uh, president of IMC mentioned, mutual funds are allowed. Uh, AIF category three is allowed. A foreign, uh, your uh, uh, economic uh, entities with exposure to Indian commodities, uh, they are allowed. And of course, uh, uh, PMS, portfolio management uh, services, plus options on futures, options uh, in goods, and of course, uh, uh, index trading. For a series of initiatives is, uh, uh, is, is what SEBI has taken in the last uh, two or three years. And as, as, as a member of the uh, SEBI CDAC Commodity Derivatives Advisory Committee, I'm so delighted uh, to be a part of, uh, part of all these uh, uh, new initiatives. Uh, now, the, uh, we also have, we are, we are today discussing a structured product. Uh, obviously, uh, an index uh, is a structured product which has uh, been allowed by, uh, by, by SEBI. And uh, the index, as we all know, we all are aware of equity market index, whether it is Nifty or Sensex. Uh, we all know what, what, what it means. The commodity markets are also eligible and, uh, and competent to launch uh, uh, index or indices uh, because that, that's a very reliable benchmark for very specific uh, commodity groups. Uh, and uh, uh, this, this can be actually a basket uh, uh, of diverse commodities uh, like uh, the Agridex of, uh, of uh, uh, NCDEX, or it can be a group of related commodities. For example, oil seeds group or spices group, vegetable oils group, whatever. All, all, all cereals group, all, all that's possible. And, and therefore, uh, and this commodity, uh, obviously commodity index is based on, uh, on, um, uh, on the futures contracts of, of, of these commodities. And therefore, a commodity based, uh, commodity index based on uh, futures, uh, will futures uh, market will have to have very high liquidity. In fact, for uh, index, the futures is actually the underlying. Even otherwise, we under, understand underlying as a physical product, but uh, as far as index is concerned, the futures is actually the underlying. And therefore, uh, a high liquidity that uh, futures contract uh, is uh, extremely important for uh, for the index to to uh, to, uh, to to succeed. Now, commodity selection and weight is usually should be and is uh, all the time uh, based on product value and traded value of the commodities that uh, that uh, are a part of the index and therefore we have what is called a value weighted index okay and uh, there is continuity uh, index provides a continuity other futures contracts obviously uh, you, you need to there is a cutoff date uh, you need to settle but uh, there is continuity because near month contract on expiration rolls into the next month and uh, the, the index also, there is a real time uh, price calculation. These are great advantages uh, uh, which, are, uh, which need to be, which need to be uh, highlighted. And of course, uh, uh, the, the, there is periodic uh, rebalancing of uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the commodities there and the, and the weights that are assigned to those uh, commodities. Now, index futures are are, uh, are extremely important part of, uh, of uh, index trading uh, that provides an extended opportunity for, for uh, uh, allows market participants uh, to trade and take a view on the overall market. I mean, I may know not, I may not know much about uh, soybean or groundnut or mustard uh, uh, individually, but when I when I if if there is an oil seed uh, index. Uh, then I think uh, uh, that that makes uh, uh, the life of investors uh, so much uh, so much uh, easier, and therefore uh, it will it allows the market participants to take an overall view of the of the oil seed sector or oils or spices or cereals or whatever we are talking about, and of course liquidity is is, is important, but often we have found the index futures tend to be more liquid than the components. There are components in this in this index. Uh, the the index futures often are more liquid than the individual individual components. And of course, they are 
cost effective and of course they are easy to trade and index trade is primarily uh, a low volatility trade low risk trade low margin trade and and therefore uh, it must uh, very logically engage the attention uh, of uh, of market participants and and, uh, uh, and and get them attract them into in, into into this market and that's exactly where uh, I, I said enter uh, ncdex agri index that is exactly where ncdex's agri index enters the market and uh, obviously this index enables uh, institutional participants mutual funds the if uh, three etc they all can trade uh, there are no hassles of delivery as uh, sunil pointed out earlier that's i think the biggest biggest benefit biggest advantage of the index trade is there is no uh, delivery hassles at all and that's extremely uh, important and uh, a great consideration uh, for for the institutions to start trading uh, to, to start trading commodities particularly uh, agriculture commodities what will i do with uh, with the 200 tons of soybean if it is delivered to me <laughs> and then therefore there are no de delivery hassles at all uh, and, uh, uh, and and therefore that is where ncdex's agri dex which is the first index that they launched uh, some time ago actually uh, is, is is an all encompassing uh, 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 index of various agriculture commodities that uh, that is traded on the uh, ncdex platform and we all know very clearly sectoral uh, indices are possible and i'm sure uh, sectoral indices are in the pipeline i think this morning or was it yesterday who uh, our uh, uh, index was uh, was launched by um, uh, ncdex other other uh, uh, sectoral indices like say cereals in, uh, uh, index or pulses index index for pulses or spices oil seeds veg oils uh, we 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 talked about all all that is possible but i think here is an excellent opportunity for for investors in particular and institutional participants uh, uh, in particular to benefit uh, from uh, from the volatility of the market and and by uh, investing uh, in index and india is a country which is in an expansionary phase and and therefore we all know for sure uh, the equity market whether sensex or nifty will be in view all i to commodity markets although commodity markets are a lot more volatile uh, uh, and uh, than and the equity markets but uh, and commodity markets are a lot more integrated with the with the global market and therefore the drivers of the market are far uh, far more powerful uh, than than the equity market drivers uh, and 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 therefore uh, because we are in an expansionary phase india's growth story will run over the next 20 25 30 years uh, the index has to has to keep rising uh, more often than not there will of course be corrections based on various factors but the index will keep rising and obviously that will give a tremendous amount of uh, uh, a good returns to uh, uh, to to investors i think with this uh, i will i will stop but let me let me uh, i want to thank of course all the all the participants i also have to issue a disclaimer uh, i am not a trader i don't hold any position in either the physical market or the futures market uh, and uh, uh, i'm a student of the market uh, uh, often i'm also a teacher of the market because i teach uh, uh, in various institutions and therefore let me stop here and wish you all good luck god bless and i'll now uh, invite uh, our friend ajay kedia to share his thoughts after which uh, we will uh, uh, probably have one more round of discussion then open up uh, the floor for the participants uh, question and answer session yes ajay the floor is yours thank you so much sir thank you imc and uh, thank you ncdx for giving me opportunity to put my views on this uh, innovative topic that is structure product the innovation approach of commodity derivative so already uh, we have seen some I, I don't think uh, some, but uh, overall idea about uh, the structured product, uh, Abhishek has given a uh, quite uh, in brief idea about uh, how NCDX is more important now. Uh, index have been already been traded 
so neil has also given uh, some insight about the how the market is performing and definitely chandrasekhar sir jisko hum jinko hum guru ji bolte hain commodity ke ye teacher nahi hai ye definitely teacher uh, student nahi hai sorry uh, teacher hi hai student to hum hai to commodity ke andar humne dekha structure product abhi tak kisi ne zyada karke uh, approach nahi kiya we have already completed 17 18 years but uh, despite that there are n number of things to be done in commodity market and uh, frankly from uh, 2015 onwards when sebi came in picture we have seen there are n number of opportunity coming back in the market but still i believe after completing 17 18 years in commodity market also there are n number of opportunity there are been still uh, untouched in the market so in the i will just take another uh, 5 to 10 minutes i am having some slides which uh, i hope my screen is visible and i will just go through with the things how uh, things are being as soon as i have got a confirmation uh, or in talk with uh, ncdx that uh, there will be a presentation i was just going through how the structure market is been uh, there in the market so i have found some headlines like structure product were launch in the uk in 1990 and soon spread across the europe and us and frankly global market for structure products have been continuously growing because innovation is most important thing jab tak cheezon mein innovation nahi aayega tab tak koi nayi cheez nahi banegi uh dbs launch a new trench of structure product with esg theme when we are talking about esg theme you can just imagine where commodities missing matlab aaj agar hum global market ki baat kare wahan pe esg theme tak pahunch chuke uh cities uh, us structure product sales highest on record iska detail bhi maine diya because jo ye sales record hua hai ye 2021 mein hua when global market was having so much turmoil uh, with the कोविड आल्सो एंड अगर हम फाइनेंशियल मार्केट की बात करें लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर में वी हैव सीन वेरी गुड अप्स एंड डाउन डिस्पाइट दैट दिस सेल्स आर बीन कंटिन्यूअसली राइजिंग दैट क्लियरली शोस हाउ इनोवेशंस इन प्रोडक्ट आर रिक्वायर्ड देन स्ट्रक्चर प्रोडक्ट्स इज द आर्ट ऑफ ट्रांसफर इन रिस्क बिकॉज़ थिंग्स आर बीन स्लोली एंड इंप्रूविंग बट एक और अच्छा चीज देखा है कि चाइना में भी हमने देखा है ये काफी गेन uh, कर रहा है पिछले 3 4 सालों में So it's very uh, high time for uh, we in India. First of all, we need a product, but now exchanges like NCDX has came out with the innovative products. And important है कि इस चीज को समझकर हमें आगे move करना चाहिए. So first of all, why commodity is most important? See, commodity and equities are inversely correlated. Uh, as we know that IMC काफी uh, corporates के साथ touch में रहती है और काफी uh, वैल्यू uh, जो भी मार्केट के वैल्यूशन प्रोवाइड uh, करती है तो हमें सबसे पहले समझना है कि व्हाई इक्विटी इज इंपॉर्टेंट सबको इक्विटी पता है बट कमोडिटीज इनवर्सली कोरिलेटेड विद इक्विटी आज कोई भी अगर हम कमोडिटी बेस्ड कॉर्पोरेट्स की बात करें तो कमोडिटी प्राइजेस आर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इन लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर वी हैव सीन ऑल कमोडिटी प्राइजेस हैज रैपिडली राइज बाय Almost uh, double digit, so I think uh, hardly कुछ और commodities रहेगी जो double digit gains है. But there are certain commodities that has been gain in triple digit, hundred hundred percent gains has been seen in last one and a half year. So this is a small uh, correlation table which uh, suggests how e uh, equity because equity we correlate with the economy. So how equity and commodities are correlated. Whenever this index goes up, that means rise in commodity prices will be there. In uh, 1970 we have called as gold uh, oil crisis. similar kind of pattern has been seen from 1985 to almost 1990 where we have seen gulf crisis now here in uh, i think uh, 1970 1990 chandrasekhar sir ne definitely ye cheez dekhi hogi suni hogi but humne jo market dekhna chalu kiya to 2000 onwards we have seen dot com bubble equity market crash and commodity prices started moving on higher side and take a latest example of 2008 uh, where we have seen food inflation uh, on the higher side we have seen commodity prices Ajay. like gold and all ajay yes sir. ajay will you allow me to sure, intervene sir. for a moment yeah sure sir okay thanks thanks in fact you uh, kind of uh, recently i was speaking in an event on black swan events okay it was one seminar uh, and how these black swan events impact uh, all all markets uh, all asset markets primarily and then i started talking about uh, asian Uh, asian uh, uh, financial okay. crisis 1997 uh, some mm -hmm. of the people may not have been born that time <laughs> really speaking <laughs> we, we i lived through all that uh, and i remember your oil crisis 1972 uh, from 3 dollars 4 dollars a barrel it went to 10 dollars and there was a huge broha 
but 97 then came the y2k uh, boom and bust 2000 and then came the 2001 the u uh, uh, camel trade center attack that is actually be given then then came the 2008 9 meltdown global financial crisis etc and then 2019 2020 21 we have we have i think every 10 years every 10 years kuch na kuch hoti hi reta hai the market mein and obviously the, the, the impact yes go ahead please thank yeah. you so jaise sir aapne bataya definitely after every 10 years something is new going on in the economy global market mein so yes. as of now if we see this index is rightly near to 0.7 still uh, i'm talking about in 2021 because of uh, sharp falling crude oil prices. But if we see the average of last 50 years, it comes around 3.9. That means commodity for next three to four years is going to boom. We are gold ke prices or aggregate prices, jo benchmark kafi bad chuke hai. Despite that, see, ye, uh, figures, this graph, hai, ye kahi pe bhi, agar correlate hai. either equity market is going to crash, either commodity is going to boom. Because if this index will reach to 3.9, then first of all, it will need at least 3 to 4 years to come at the average of 3.9. That means commodity for next 3 to 4 years is going to boom. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, if we look at the inversely correlated equity, it's a commodity. We have seen last year, when the pandemic hit in 2020, we have seen gold prices went from 28,000 to 56,000 on 11th August 2020. We have seen silver prices from 32 to almost 75. We have seen agri-commodity. Agri-commodity, which is a jump today, that was in line only. Because in 100 years, whenever there is a pandemic hit, Agriculture commodity or we can say food inflation is going to uh, get up. So here, if we have our strategy like hedging for corporates, for investment opportunity for uh, investors, yeah, for example, Agridex, if we see since launch has uh, given a return of almost uh, 62%, that clearly shows how agriculture commodity is more concerning. Even our prime, Honorable Prime Minister Ji ne bhi, uh, is bar bhi aur pehle bhi humne dekha ki limelight mein hamesha agriculture commodities ko rakha hai. Overall, if we talk about any commodity, see, take an example of silver, crude, natural gas, or even in agri-commodity like cotton seed oil cake, 100%, soya bean, 200%. This type of movement has been seen from low of 2020 to high of 2021. So this is very high time one should look for a commodity. What we have done uh, over here, we have designed some uh, product. Uh, take an example here, I am showing a, a simple uh, uh, portfolio with having uh, some correlation with uh, equity or we can say uh, equity and commodities some proportion of commodities been there what we have done we have uh, given a sample from 2007 to 2011 whereby you can see nifty is there uh, take example of gold if we keep a certain percentage of gold in, in our portfolio what will happen first of all your volatility volatility of portfolio will decrease आपके पोर्टफोलियो में जो वॉलेटिलिटी है वो डिक्रीज होगा यू कैन जस्ट इमेजिन जब इक्विटी मार्केट में हमने एक बड़ा फॉल आके भी देखा यहाँ पे 2020 में या लेट्स से 2008 में आपके कॉम्बो कॉम्बो पोर्टफोलियो के अंदर इतना बड़ा फॉल नहीं आया था और रिटर्न वाइज आप देखेंगे तो इक्विटी से बेटर रिटर्न है सो आई थिंक विथ पार्ट ऑफ थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट और लेट से ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ कमोटी लेट इट बी एग्री और नॉन एग्री कमोटी आपका जो रिटर्न है वो बढ़ेगा एंड जो बीटा है वो कम होगा स्ट्रक्चर प्रोडक्ट ऑलरेडी मार्केट में काफी चल रहे हैं इंडिया में अब धीरे धीरे जैसे सेबी है एक्सचेंजेस है दे आर स्टेपिंग इन तो आई थिंक देर वर एन नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स और एन नंबर ऑफ इनोवेटिव प्रोडक्ट विल बी डेफिनेटली कमिंग इन इंडिया यहाँ पे वी कैन डिजाइन एट एनी जैसा आपको रिक्वायरमेंट है वी कैन डिजाइन आपका प्रिंसिपल प्रोटेक्शन रहना चाहिए हेजिंग रहना चाहिए रिटर्न को एनहेंस करना चाहिए टैक्स एफिशिएंसी होनी चाहिए डाइवर्सिफिकेशन होना चाहिए लेट इट बी आपका जो व्यू है बोलिश बैरी स्टेबल अनसर्टन वॉलेटाइल विद दी हेल्प ऑफ ऑप्शंस नाउ कमोडिटीज के अंदर भी ऑप्शंस आ चुके हैं तो वी कैन हैव एन नंबर ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन विद ऑप्शन ऑल्सो एंड वी कैन डिजाइन अ स्ट्रक्चर प्रोडक्ट एंड बिलीव अभी तक कमोडिटी को एज ए हमने कंजम्पन यूज किया है बट आज हम जानते हैं पेट्रोल के भाव बढ़ने वाले लेट से 40 इयर्स बैक पेट्रोल के प्राइस क्या थे वी हैव नेवर इन्वेस्टेड इन पेट्रोल बिकॉज हमारे पास ऐसा कोई प्रोडक्ट नहीं था कहाँ पे हम इन्वेस्ट करें बट नाउ 
एग्री के लिए एग्रीडेस आ चुका है और ऑप्शन भी अवेलेबल है तो की बेनिफिट है प्रोटेक्शन भी है एफिशियंसी भी है अगर हम स्ट्रक्चर uh, प्रोडक्ट्स में जाते हैं कॉम्बिनेशन जाते हैं वो इम्पोर्टेंट इज डाइवर्सिफिकेशन एंड लास्ट आई वुड कम टू ऑन एग्रीकल्चर बिकॉज एग्रीकल्चर एज एसेट क्लास वी हैव नेवर सीन आज हम जानते हैं कि हमने सुना है uh, 50 इयर्स बैक घी के भाव ऐसा था या मिल्क का भाव ऐसा था या चावल गेहूँ बहुत सस्ते मिल रहे थे बट वी वेर नॉट हैविंग एनी अपॉर्चुनिटी कहाँ पे हम इन्वेस्ट करें बट फ्रेंकली अगर ग्लोबल मार्केट में हम देखते हैं तो एग्रीकल्चर कमोडिटी एक इन्वर्सली कोरिलेटेड है और काफी अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी क्रिएट कर रहा है बिकॉज स्ट्रॉन्ग रिटर्न हमने ऑलरेडी देखे हैं इन्फ्लेशन प्रोटेक्शन बिकॉज जब हम लोग इन्वेस्टमेंट करते हैं हमारा ऑब्जेक्ट होता है कि इन्फ्लेशन को बीट करे बट इन्फ्लेशन होता किससे है इन्फ्लेशन कमोडिटी के राइस से होता है और सबसे ज्यादा जो ट्रेंड होता है वो एग्री कमोडिटी होता है तो इन्फ्लेशन प्रोटेक्शन भी आपको एग्रीकल्चर कमोडिटी से मिलता है लो कोरिलेशन विद अदर एसेट क्लास एंड जो इकोनॉमिक साइकल्स होती है उसके अंदर परफेक्टली एग्रीकल्चर अपने आप को प्लेस करके चलता है तो आई थिंक विद ऑल दिस अगर हम ये बेनिफिट्स देखें और जो आगे की जो सुपर साइकिल है कमोडिटी की दैट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट और अगले तीन चार साल तक आई थिंक कमोडिटी इज गोइंग टू बूम तो वन शुड लुक फॉर अ कमोडिटी एज एसेट क्लास और खास करके एनसीडिक्स में हमने देखे जो प्रोडक्ट्स अभी लॉन्च हुए चाहे हम ऑप्शन की बात करें या इंडेक्स की बात करें इसको एक सर्टन परसेंटेज तक आपके पोर्टफोलियो में एड करना चाहिए दैट विल हेल्प टू इंक्रीज द रिटर्न Thank you from my side. Over to Chandrasekhar sir. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. I think that was uh, uh, absolutely interesting, uh, interesting uh, presentation. I, I just, I just have to uh, make uh, make uh, two two comments. Uh, basically, uh, Ajay triggered some thoughts. Um, one is usually the commodity in the commodity markets. uh volatility uh, comes because of generally more often than not supply side shocks okay when you have a supply side shock there is much greater volatility than from a demand side shock demand side shock does not happen frequently but a supplies supply side shocks are felt more often than not primarily because of weather changes or a labor problem in mines uh, etc etc all 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 that uh, whereas uh, uh, and, and and the supply shocks will take a longer time to uh, to adjust uh, particularly in case of uh, uh, metals uh, for example because the it, it takes a long time for the mine to restart etc whereas in case of agriculture commodities the adjustment will be faster and when i say faster between 3 uh, and 6 months primarily because in some part of the other world crops growing or crops and supplies will well well with a lag of 3 months or so continue to come into the market uh, and uh, and and therefore Uh, and and therefore more often than not the supply shocks are primarily from the weather side but last year what did we find 2020 we found also a demand side shock primarily because of covid your uh, uh, disruption to supply chain etc there was also a, a shutdown of uh, uh, lockdown of uh, countries etc all that and therefore i think it's it's a very interesting uh, uh, interesting study that uh, that in case of agriculture uh, commodities the supply response will be uh, much faster than in uh, in uh, other commodities like energy products uh, and and metals yes sir, thank you very much ajay i was wanting to check uh, i was wanting to check if uh, uh, if abhishek uh, talked about uh, uh, the logic or the rationale that uh, you use uh, Uh, in in assigning weights to to various commodities can you can you explain to this house uh, abhishek uh, what rational ncdex uses oh, oh, very yeah. broadly very so broadly. Uh, we, yeah so, so we have used the same what we have done is we have given the e Regular commodity, uh, as well as uh, the uh, 
the liquidity of that commodity on exchange platform. So we have, when we calculate the weight, we calculate the production weights and liquidity weights first. Uh, production weights are calculated based on the five years data that we get from government's uh, uh, website. Uh, we take that production data, we convert it into production value with the spot prices that are available with us. And then we calculate the production value of, of past five years, we average it out. And from those average, we calculate the production weights of that particular commodity. Once we calculate the production weights, we look at the liquidity data which we have. Uh, so the commodities uh, traded volume on the exchange platform for past 12 months, we take that data, we calculate the give equal importance. What I mean is we have assigned 50% value uh, to the production weights, 50% value to the liquidity weights to arrive uh, at the final commodity index percentage. So this way, uh, both of the sides, not only one side, but both sides of that commodity uh, uh, are presented by the weights uh, in the index. I hope I have answered yeah, your that's question. Right. No, that, uh, Abhishek, that's interesting. I've switched off my video. Uh, I, I have one more question, if you don't mind, for you. Um, on yeah. rebalancing, uh, will you, uh, at, at, uh, when will you, will you be rebalancing? When and any yeah. thoughts on what will be the considerations for rebalancing? Sure. So as per the SEBI guidelines, SEBI guidelines clearly mentions that whenever we do the rebalancing, we need to inform the market upfront in, in advance, uh, you know, three months in advance. So whenever we calculate the new weights, we issue the circular and those new weights get uh, into the index uh, after three months. So for Agridex as well as for these new sectoral indices we are going to calculate the new based on their performance and based on the production of that commodity and we are going to dis disclose it to the market on the first uh, january of the new year and uh, we issue the circular to the market with these new weights and these new weights will be in effect uh, from first april of that particular year so there is a three months gap which is mandatory which is stated by the regulator uh, the, the advantage that it gives the market participants is that they have their own tools and strategies, so they can in advance tweak their strategies and make their tool comfortable for the upcoming new weights. Uh, in the sectoral indices, we have go gone one more step ahead. Uh, along with the weights, what we have do, what we have done is we have also also disclosed the the quantity of that commodity in the index. So what we are doing from the weights, we are calculating the quantity in metric tons of that particular commodity in the index and we are disclosing it to the market so that uh, instead of going into calculation of the weights every time they just need to know okay see seven mt of uh, uh, guar seed and three mt of guar gum is required for one lot of guar x so that's how easy we have done for the market participants especially for the hedges those who sit in the market with the physical commodity uh, so now they can talk in their own language in terms of metric tons, like how much quantity is required for one lot of index. So that's how we do the rebalancing. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Uh, even across the world, uh, uh, rebalancing is done in January uh, that we know. But I was wondering whether uh, I, sh uh, I can ask both Ajay and Sunil, uh, uh, can, you, uh, can you share, do you have... Uh, what's happening in the global market uh, in terms of uh, uh, how uh, uh, an index uh, is uh, uh, is designed or what what can, what considerations are there for uh, uh, rebalancing etc any uh, is is do they do anything different than what we are doing here uh, in the in the overseas exchanges i mean any thoughts any views have you uh, studied that maybe sunil if you have uh, yeah. So, so if we talk about the developed uh, markets, like let's talk about say uh, U.S. markets, like Seabot, uh, if we talk about, uh, they are 170 year old uh, exchange, and they offer a lot of uh, uh, you know instruments related to commodity derivatives, and obviously uh, many of them are uh, indices or sectoral uh, indices, uh, which which active participants are already using it for trading, investment, and hedging purposes. 
you know the rebalancing of the commodity uh, you know in in certain countries happen based on the season seasonality pattern of that particular uh, you know crop in that particular country so that is one of the factor because obviously agri commodities when we talk about uh, you know it it uh, you know follows a particular season and uh, you have harvesting period and then you have sowing period and and basically uh, that particular commodity supply and demand gets uh, you know matched when when the supply estimates are met with the demand estimates yeah. so so that is one factor secondly uh, if there is any change in the government policy regarding uh, you know import and export of that particular agro commodities due to excess or deficit in production yes at that point of time also some of the weights are are changed actually just to make sure the the uh, the clients who are holding that particular instrument are given uh, you know notification in advance and and then accordingly the the weights are changed these are the two popular uh, uh, you know parameters uh, which i have noticed in the international established markets which they consider to rebalance uh, index uh, uh, you know overall awesome awesome tony thank you thank you sunil for this uh, clarification maybe i'm sure ajay has something to add uh, uh, in in uh, in this matter see when we talk about uh, commodities see rebalancing uh, definitely as sunil has uh, told that international there are two three things one is uh, uh, seasonality because when we talk about uh, any commodity commodity generally runs on seasonality only then uh, we can have a just a thought because it totally depend upon when uh, i have seen some uh, structure product so that will be also depend on the other asset class like uh, i have shown in my uh, presentation that combination of equity and commodity take example we have uh, run up to with a uh, one uh, fund uh, whereby the weightage was around uh, let's say 70 30 of uh, an commodity then if uh, suppose uh, any asset class uh, runs because it's a economic when we talk about commodity it totally depend on the how the economy is working or let's say if we talk about any agriculture the how the government policy things are so i think weightage could be possible uh, change in possible with the government policy seasonality and the importance of other asset class which are been there be, uh, if suppose uh, there is a combination product like uh, uh, i was talking about equity and commodity combination so it will be again depend upon the, how the other asset class uh, performance would be there all right uh, uh, thank you i i have uh, i want to ask uh, uh, abhishek how do you uh, i know you've been you've been promoting uh, agri desk and you are now launching new uh, indices also uh, can you can you share with the participants and all of us uh, your uh, what should i call strategy or plan or how do you how do you propose to promote uh, uh there's index or other indices that that uh, you may launch what's your game plan uh, you're on mute abhishek yeah sorry so uh, of course uh, commodity as an asset class is a very unique thing um, but now since uh, we have the indices in our portfolio the people uh, the the parties funds which were afraid of you know taking delivery or uh, giving delivery as per se in the commodity market but they wanted to participate in this market because it's kind of a, a, a simpler to understand commodity compared to the equity market if you really look at the other things that you need to look at equity market so now these participants will have uh, now have a product uh, wherein they can easily participate so our uh, uh, goal is uh, you know see indian agricultural sector has been the most resilient that has grown during the this uh, last couple of years and structured products like agri indices suit the requirements of this retail participants institutional investors like pmf and mutual funds and other value chain participants and pretty sure like the guarex is one of the commodity which has a very uh, 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 unique place when it comes to the export uh, from india uh, and not only the domestic participants but we are also looking at the international participants to you know make sure they hedge on our platform uh, for their requirements so uh, retail participants or uh, for that uh, matter if you talk about the institutional investors these uh, uh, they, they are always looking for a bespoke products which will make them their a client comfortable and uh, definitely strong research and strong 
a narrative is required when it comes to promoting this kind of products if they are giving you very good returns uh, along with the low volatility and very less cost so uh, i think in that direction currently we are promoting our product uh, we are uh, constantly consistently in touch with these institutional uh, 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 investors and we are putting this as a as a uh, uh, you know, competition to the uh, the product which you all uh, uh, which they already have in the in their portfolio. So, uh, if you compare, if uh, if you put commodity as an asset class in your portfolio, it will definitely give you uh, somewhat same returns or better returns, keeping your low vol uh, volatility low in your portfolio. So, overall, this is how we are promoting our product. In, in, all right. in general. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I'm I'm going to go to. Ajay and ask him uh, a very straight question. Um, I'm sure you must have studied uh, uh, closely NCDEX's Agridex. Uh, how good is uh, uh, Agridex as an index product? Uh, what should NCDEX do to popularize it more and, and take it uh, to a much higher level in terms of turnover? Any thoughts? And I'm going to go with the same thing to, uh, to Sunil later. But uh, Ajay, your thoughts? <clears throat> uh, definitely, first of all, it's a very innovative product because we have never seen this type of product in a commodity and never thought because uh, today we can see the participation in equity index like Nifty, Bank Nifty. So same kind of because it's first of all, it's a fair settle. Uh, so I think uh, the trader lobby can definitely uh, uh, take a position in this. Secondly, as a barometer, because whenever we talk about equity market, we do you should just check it out. Uh, uh, Nifty kya chal raha hai, ya Sensex kya chal raha hai. So same type of like uh, benchmark it create kar raha hai ki how every market is going on or inflation ke liye bhi hum log isko as a refer kar sakte. Coming on the uh, volume participation, I think still the awareness about the agriculture commodity as a asset class among the investor or among the financial market has been very low. No doubt in last uh, couple of years we have seen a number of mutual fund companies are being there. Uh, coming up with the uh, uh, funds uh, having uh, some proportion of commodity. So they have understand the importance of agriculture commodity or let's say uh, commodity. But uh, uh, still the individual retail people are just uh, thinking whenever we used to talk with uh, some investor or some client, sir, aap agri mein, sir, agri invest karte hai? Aaj 18 years ke baad bhi ye sawal aata to kahi na kahi jo education ya fina awareness hai, usko bahut jorat hai. So I think there are still opportunities are uh, lying in commodity market and importantly awareness so exchange uh, already ye sab practice kar bhi rahi hai but uh, i think jo jaise humne vaccination ke liye dekha youth star pe karna chahiye i think ke abhi bhi awareness aur thodi badhani chahiye and i definitely see ke imc ke jo reach hai approach hai because uh, corporates are more important because uh, inka kahin na kahin exposure agri commodity se ya koi na koi commodity se related rehta hi hai I think first of all, the big players are, yeah, I mean, if we talk about agri so everyone can participate from corporate to uh, trader, hedgers, everyone can participate in it. So I think awareness is the most important. Still, we require more awareness for agriculture commodity. Correct. Right. Uh, thank you. Uh, I mean, what I want to mention is traditionally, as all of us know, and it's of course for the benefit of the participants, that uh, equities are known as investment asset class and commodities are generally known as consumption asset class. But what we found over the last 15 years, 20 years, turn of the century, turn of the millennium, whatever uh, you call, that commodities are now also becoming uh, not just a consumption asset class, but also an investment asset class. People want to invest. Funds want to invest, even retail investors. I'm talking the global trend. Uh, globally, the trend is that uh, 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 investors are willing to bet on commodities. Uh, and obviously, institutional investors and, and, and funds uh, uh, majorly are, uh, are investing in commodities. Although the sh their share of investment in commodities is actually only a fraction of their total investment uh, in, in other, uh, other asset uh, classes. And, 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 and therefore, there is tremendous scope for increase uh, uh, of uh, investment in, uh, uh, in commodities, particularly in, in agriculture commodities. I think 
uh, that 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 that's going to be uh, the the way forward. Uh, and I, I can see a very very interesting times ahead uh, as far as uh, agriculture uh, is concerned. Agriculture commodities are concerned, and of course, the structured product like uh, agri dex uh, is concerned. Uh, thank you, uh, Sunil. Any thoughts on uh, on uh, uh, your uh, the composition? of uh, agridex commodities the crops and uh, any thoughts any suggestions any guidance for ncdex what should they be doing uh, to promote uh, uh, promote the trading uh, in uh, agridex yeah yeah actually uh, we need to actually uh, make the promotion in a unique way because uh, when we look at uh, agridex performance let's say uh, we say that launch price was 1000 now it is 1600 so we say 60% roi but in return, in reality, people have made 600% return because people did not invest 100% money. You know, They invested only 10% of uh, the total contract value. So in turn, somebody who bought at uh, 1,000, he invested 100 rupees only and he gained 600 rupees over that. So this is one thing one needs to highlight. Uh, to, to invest. You're talking yeah. about the leverage. Yes, yes. Correct. The leverage needs to be highlighted. So, so one is yeah. one is the leverage. Sorry for that. And, yeah. and, and that leverage is without any cost because in equity, when you take margin funding, you end up paying interest on that borrowed fund. But in commodities, you're paying hundred rupees for buying a thousand rupees worth of commodity, and you are not paying anything for the nine hundred rupees. So that is one thing we need to give it to the investor. Ki you're not paying anything for the balance ninety percent, which is the first uh, you know uh, highlight. Second thing is. Uh, we need to pitch it like equity because see in Indian market, people understand equities and the indexes that are cash settled are similar to equity till the time they don't get comfortable. We need to promote it in the form of equity. Like if I'm buying, uh, you know, Sterlite Industries, for example, indirectly, I'm in investing in a commodity backed company. That company does well. I, I earn decent return on investment. So similarly, Agridex or sectorial indices can be promoted similar to equity and highlight the similarities between equity so that an equity customer can become comfortable and he can understand it uh, in, in a much relative uh, way. He can think that it is more or less similar to equities basically. And I'm saving on the balance 90% since I'm getting leverage. And uh, you know that's how I can uh, participate in this asset class. So we need to find similarities between equity and indices and highlight it and then market it so that our education program becomes much more effective. Absolutely. Thank you very much. I think it's very important. Uh, Abhishek, uh, any any uh, reaction to what our friends have said, both uh, Sunil and Ajay, from your side? Abhishek, are you there? Yeah, sure. So I, I uh, complete. Yeah, am I audible? Yep. Yes. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. So I, 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 I would that uh, uh, our uh, retail participants mostly understand it the equity way and indices are somehow similar products even though they are commodity indices they are uh, similar product because those are uh, these are cassettal products definitely we uh, we are trying to in fact I, I, I just said that they are more comfortable and they're more easier to trade when it comes to equity. In equities, you need to understand the financial statements, balance book, and all the nitty gritties like management structure and all that stuff. Herein, there are very uh, few and limited factors that you need to understand when it comes to understand a commodity because you uh, somehow are really uh, related to the commodity on a daily basis. So uh, you need to look at the bigger picture uh, when it comes to commodity trading. And of course, commodity index futures uh, definitely can be, you know, a target or, or attract the retail investor if they track, if they keep tracking uh, the fundamentals of those underlying commodities on daily basis. So definitely, uh, I have already taken a note of what Sunil and Ajay has uh, said, uh, and uh, we will definitely try to include it in our approach to the market. Right. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Abhishek. Uh, I think we'll now open up the floor for a discussion uh, for the participants. Uh, I'll request uh, all the participants to pose their questions in the chat box. Uh, when I open the chat box, I already see one or two questions. Uh, one is, uh, can you please share the presentation? Of course, 
Ajay said uh, 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 it will be it will be available. Share the email. Uh, I also want uh, I would like Abhishek to share uh, his ID and of course Sunil and I'll request Anita from IMC to share uh, the IMC's uh, email ID. Now, what are the risk? What are the risks of structured products? Is one question from Manju. Is is there a risk in investing in structured products? That is that uh, seems to be the question. Uh, any any view, Ajay, on uh, are are there risks in investing in structured products? Yeah, I think the uh, basic ek thamro hota bina risk ke koi reward bhi nahi hota hai. So definitely risk rehta hai, but it's a calculated risk. Secondly, jaise Abhishek ne bhi kaha. When we talk about equity market, we have to do the PSD that how the company is performing and all. But uh, when we trade in commodity, I think it's a more uh, simpler way. We know the uh, reason because uh, global news on it mil jati hai. Secondly, when we talk about agri expo, I think jo balancing ki hai ya uh, jo ingredients hai, to utna bada ek uh, naked risk nahi rehta hai when we talk about in commodity. But uh, if we go with the uh, combinations with other asset class like I have shown in equity and gold so uh, we have to see the weightage when equity market falls commodity is going to tend to be on higher side so there are a number of uh, mutual fund that has been started with the weightage so there is a risk involved uh, like a liquidity risk we can say uh, in case agar waisa product hai to otherwise i think india mein itne abhi tak products jo bane hai, they are uh, quite good uh, for investing so itna bada koi risk nahi jo normal risk hum equity market mein other asset class mein dikhte hain normal hai all right. Uh, thank you. I think there's another interesting question from Ketaki Limaye. Uh, uh, she is asking, uh, given the correlation that the commodity market shares uh, with the equity market, and looking at the current situation, is it ripe time to invest in commodity market? This is a question. Let me before I I I, I ask Sunil and uh, um, uh, Ajay to respond. Let me let me share this. <clears throat> uh, there is. A nexus between commodity markets and equities market. Uh, there, uh, you need to you need to know what how this nexus work. It is not just online trading. It is something uh, beyond that. Uh, let me uh, give a, an example. If my research shows that steel prices are going to rise by twenty five percent over the next four to six months, what will I do? I go and buy commodity steel today. Hope then expecting that prices will rise three or four or six months, whatever time frame uh, from today. Therefore, I, I've done one deal in the commodity market. Then I'll go to the equity market. If steel prices are going to go up, who's going to benefit? Steel producers are going to benefit. And then therefore, one can expect the top line and bottom line of steel companies to start improving. Correct? And therefore, I will go long on steel producer shares. So I have done a second transaction. Uh, I can do a third transaction. What is the third transaction? When steel prices rise, it's going to hurt the bottom line of steel consuming companies. And therefore, one can expect that the, the, the shares of steel consuming companies will take it and go short on steel, uh, the shares of steel consuming companies. For I had one piece of information, steel prices are going to rise through my research, but I've done three transactions, right? That's the kind of correlation. But the question is, looking at the current situation, is it uh, the right time to invest in commodity markets? I'm not going to answer that question. I'm going to leave it to both Ajay and Sunil to respond to this. Okay, uh, I'll take that question first and then obviously Ajay can... Uh, no, no, please, 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 uh, please. See, equity markets are trading at all-time high. Uh, so, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that commodity markets are trading at all-time low. If we look at uh, cotton prices, if we look at soybean prices, if we look at even uh, edible oil prices, you know, they are trading at reasonably high uh, prices because of fundamental. So, uh, let's uh, have uh, one thing clear that it is not uh, that 100% correlation to equity market is not there. Because, uh, you know, uh, originally the supply and demand factors are going to drive the prices. But yes, uh, equity market going up or down will impact the uh, rupee appreciation or depreciation. If equity market is going up, rupee appreciates. If equity market sees a correction, rupee will depreciate. 
when rupee depreciates all the rupee denominated commodities will go expensive so from inflation uh, you know front yes some so the commodity prices may go up but uh, today uh, if you ask me if i need to buy uh, all the agri commodities uh, there are commodities in agricultural like soybean and all they are trading at all time high level some some consolidation has happened but may not be the right strategy but yes uh, commodities that are at a reasonably uh, lower price can be looked into like uh, guarex uh, you know is is one counter which looks positive because crude oil prices are improving on one part one part uh, supply side there is a concern and yes rupee depreciation over a period of time once the equity market corrects even that will support so you have to be uh, a bit careful in selecting the agricultural commodities uh, soya complex you may avoid but yes guar complex you may possibly focus on all right thanks uh, before i go to ajay i want to i just want to mention uh, basically one have wants in g and exit strategy in place is the first proposition in fact i would think the exit strategy is even more important than the entry strategy in the market so the, the, this is important second my perception my view is that 2021 is an unusual year the kind of boom that we are witnessing in the equities market and the boom in select agriculture commodity is because of a combination of reasons primarily it is liquidity driven commodity boom <laughs> the world has uh, the, the us has printed trillions of dollars as a huge uh, stimulus package uh, in in europe stimulus package in in, in china etc all that the world is awash with funds and with money and in dollars in particular and interest rates are extraordinarily low this is not a normal situation okay and therefore don't project what happens today to the future therefore you you need to look at the last maybe 7 or 8 years data once once the liquidity starts to shrink which it will at some stage uh, we don't know when uh, 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 then the market will start correcting which is exactly what we saw in 2010 11 12 for agriculture commodities this year particularly weather has played a big role la nina in south asia has brought excess rainfall for all of us but the same la nina in south america has played havoc with dry conditions and that's why whether it's wheat or corn or soybean or cotton or or uh, uh, sugar all 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 the prices are up therefore don't go by what is happening at this point of time because it's a very unusual combination of uh, uh, both liquidity and and weather aberrations i i, I want to i want to leave this thought uh, with, with with people ajay sorry uh, if i have uh, uh, if i have uh, gone on the important uh, message that i need to give yeah please go okay. ahead okay is it the right time is it the right time to start investing in commodities that is the question no definitely it's a uh, right time only as i have uh, uh, shown you in my presentation that correlation between equity and commodity is inverted and it's below one what we have never seen in last 50 years so first of all why uh, uh, jaise maine bhi bataya 3.9 ka ek mean hai so that means next 3 to 4 years commodity is going to be outperforming but yeah, okay. sawal aa gaya but sawal aa jata hai ki whether this is the correct price so first of all commodity mein ek uh, mindset kaisa rehta hai ki gold ke price take example 2015 february 22 Gold prices was around 54, 50, and we have seen sudden jump to 10,000. We have thought that the gold's value to double has been doubled. Then 10,000 से 20,000 होता है, 20,000 से 40,000 होता है. So every time commodity ऐसा नहीं है जो equity market में हमने एक cycle देखते हैं. So right now, looking to that chart, I am damn sure that the next three to four years commodity will increase. हाँ, एक चीज ये भी है कि demand and supply जैसे चंद्रशेखर सर ने भी कहा कि इस बार combinations काफी हो गए वेदर कंडीशन भी हो गए देन व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट लिक्विडिटी जब इकोनॉमी में लिक्विडिटी पंपिंग होती है तो इन्फ्लेशन बढ़ता ही बढ़ता है थर्ड थिंग बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड द नेचर ऑफ होर्डिंग टेक एग्जांपल इंडिया में जब लॉकडाउन अनाउंस हुआ था कोई भी किराना स्टोर पे स्टॉक नहीं था तो लोगों ने फिजिकल कमोडिटी होर्ड करना चालू हो गए हैं बट ग्लोबल मार्केट में ये चीज चाइना जानती जस्ट चेक इट आउट इन लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर चाइना हैज कंटिन्यूअसली स्टार्टेड बाइंग 
एग्री कमोडिटी नॉन एग्री कमोडिटी इवन कंटेनर्स आज ही मेरे ख्याल से कुछ एक अपडेट आया था कि चाइना इज होल्डिंग कंटेनर्स बिकॉज ऑफ दैट शॉर्टेजेस ऑल्सो कमोडिटी प्राइजेस स्टार्टेड बिकॉज जो मूवमेंट है कमोडिटी कमोडिटीज का वो नहीं हो पा रहा है तो आई थिंक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नो डाउट वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड में जो कमोडिटी में राइस आया है दैट कैन बी एडजस्टेड दैट कैन बी डायलूटेड थोड़ा एक रिंग बाउंड हो सकता है बट आई थिंक नेक्स्ट कपल ऑफ ईयर्स ग्लोबल कमोडिटीज लाइक हम नॉन एग्री की बात करें वो एंड इवन कमोडिटी लाइक ऑलरेडी हमने देखा मीज अभी बाकी है गवार अभी स्टार्ट हुआ ही नहीं है पल्सस में गवर्नमेंट ने थोड़े से ध्यान ज्यादा दे रही है बट आई थिंक कमोडिटी इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी गुड बट कॉम्बिनेशन रखिए इक्विटी एंड कमोडिटी का कॉम्बिनेशन रखिए बिकॉज वेन एवर एक असेट क्लास अगर ड्रॉप होता है तो अदर अदर असेट क्लास विल पैच यू ए गुड प्रॉफिट Thanks, uh, thanks, Ajay. I think uh, the same person is continuing with two more questions. One is also wanted to know out of curiosity. Uh, only three percent of the people invest in financial market. What possibly are the reasons apart from lack of financial knowledge uh, for not investing in market? Is the risk our nature of people one of uh, one of the reasons? This is, this is one question. But I think more more interesting. I mean, we have uh, uh, very very interesting in the last one year. Several million people have actually entered uh, the the equities <laughs> market as an investor. I think this is uh, okay. Let me. But can commodity market be the first step for the new investors to enter the market, given its risky nature? Uh, I yes, of course. I'm sure Ajay has uh, uh, has uh, a response. I'm sure Sunil also will have a response. But I want to, as 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 a as a teacher, I want to mention that <clears throat> that. Uh, commodity market usually are lot more volatile than the equities market is number one number two when you want to start investing in commodities please acquire adequate product knowledge and market knowledge this is extremely important of course when you when you invest in an index uh, the 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 depth of knowledge the product knowledge and market knowledge is not not so much that is required Uh, because an index uh, facilitates uh, a more easy investments but if you want to invest in specific commodities uh, then i think you it is important for you to acquire adequate product knowledge and market knowledge and the know the dynamics of the market and the drivers of the market uh, therefore uh, ajay uh, uh, to start with you uh, would commodity market be the first step uh, for the new investors to enter uh, given its risky nature See, frankly, I have started my career with commodity only. So, मुझे frankly आज तक कभी commodity इतना risky नहीं लगा. देखिए, जैसे definitely आपने बोला अगर knowledge रहेगा तो I think uh, supported. दो चीज है इसमें. First of all, जैसे इन्होंने कहा है कि three percent of people are investing in financial market. ठीक uh, है, financial awareness एक common चीज है कि भाई किसी को है नहीं. But I think इंडिया में फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस का सबसे बड़ा जो कल्प्रेट है वो फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर है वी डोंट हैव एक्चुअल फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर इन मार्केट जैसे हम डॉक्टर्स के पास जाते हैं सपोज uh, मेरे को अगर कट लगा है अगर मैं सर्जन के पास जाऊंगा सर्जन विल सजेस्ट मी टू हैव ए स्टिचेस होम्योपैथिक वाले के पास जाऊंगा दे विल सजेस्ट कि आप ये गोली लीजिए एक महीने में ये स्टिच आपके uh, जो कट है वो सही हो जाएगा तो uh, आज की डेट में इंडिया में जो फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर है या इवन ब्रोकर्स भी है उनको जो अच्छा लगता है वो ही क्लाइंट को आगे फॉरवर्ड देते हैं तो कमोडिटी मार्केट में लास्ट सेवनटीन एटीन ईयर्स में हमने देखा है कि कोई ऐसे ब्रोकर नहीं है जो कहा लिमिटेड है जो आगे फॉरवर्ड है सेकेंडली कमिंग ऑन द वॉलिटिलिटी नेचर देखिए वॉलिटिलिटी नेचर में अगर मैं बात करूँ सिंपल एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ क्रिप्टो का क्रिप्टो वॉलेटाइल है यस बिल्कुल है तो ये हमें पता है तब हम इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं तो हमारा एक ओवरव्यू बन जाता है हमने कभी कमोडिटी को उस एंगल से देखा ही नहीं है घर में हमारे पास गोल्ड पड़ा है बट हमें ये पता है हाँ गोल्ड है गोल्ड का भाव बढ़ता है बट जब हम लोग इसको एक्सप्लोर करेंगे देन विल कम टू नो कि हाँ इसके वॉलिटी डेट इज नॉर्मल बिकॉज कमोडिटी मार्केट देर आर सर्टन फैक्टर्स लाइक गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज वेदर कंडीशन या जियो पोलिटिकल टेंशन तो ये जो फैक्टर्स है वो इम्पैक्ट करेंगे बट डोंट एक्सपेक्ट के कमोडिटी मार्केट स्टेबल रहेंगे क्योंकि एक साइकिल में है तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइनेंशियल नॉलेज होना चाहिए फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर अच्छा होना चाहिए जो आपको हेल्प कर सके एंड थर्ड कि कमोडिटी रिस्की नहीं है आप उसको छोटे स्पेन में देख रहे हो अगर किसी से मैं बात करूं पचास साल पहले गोल्ड का क्या भाव था दस साल पहले पंद्रह साल पहले पांच साल पहले तो हमेशा एक राइजिंग देखा बिकॉज कमोडिटीज इन्फ्लेशन और इन्फ्लेशन कभी भी नेगेटिव में कोई भी इकोनॉमी नहीं चाहेगी 
तो आई थिंक स्लोली एंड स्टडीली अगर हम आ, हमारा रिस्क एपेटाइट देखकर हमारे पूरे पोर्टफोलियो में एक सर्टन परसेंटेज कमोडिटी का ऐड करेंगे 2013 बा, 13 के बाद हमने गोल्ड एज ए इन्वेस्टमेंट देखा है इससे पहले गोल्ड एज ए कंजम्पन देखा है हमने क्योंकि अब लिक्विडिटी आई है ट्रांसपेरेंसी आई है और जैसे जैसे ट्रांसपेरेंसी बढ़ रही है पार्टिसिपेशन भी धीरे धीरे बढ़ रहा है तो आई थिंक कमोडिटी मोर सेफर देन इक्विटी वहाँ पे बैलेंस शीट देखना है कंपनी के मैनेजमेंट को देखना है यहाँ पे हमें खाली नॉर्मल वेदर कंडीशन गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी ये सब देखेंगे एस एन डी जिसको हम लोग बोलते हैं सप्लाई एंड डिमांड सिचुएशन देन डेफिनेटली कमोडिटी विल बी मच सेफर देन इक्विटी मार्केट थैंक्स थैंक्स जय फॉर दिस वंडरफुल एक्सप्लेनेशन सुनील व्हाट आर योर थॉट्स कैन कमोडिटी मार्केट बी द फर्स्ट स्टेप फॉर न्यू इन्वेस्टर्स टू एंटर गिवन इट रिस्की नेचर दैट्स द क्वेश्चन actually uh, if i compare the risk you know equity uh, may have higher risk than commodity uh, it's just that because commodities are derivative products since we are only paying 10% of the margin money if the commodity price is correct by 5% my 50% capital wipes out so that uh, you know we need to be a bit careful when we enter because in equity market if i take a delivery based uh, you know a position i end up paying 100% of the money so if i am buying 1000 rupees worth of share i am paying full 1000 rupees even if that share becomes 500 i'm losing 50% of my capital uh, uh, you know uh, i'm i'm still having 50% there but in commodities since the leverage is 10x uh, i take a position position comes uh, i mean the prices fall by 5% my loss will be 10 times much so if you take care of that i mean instead of starting with 10% of uh, the margin money possibly try with 30% of the margin money keep uh, some surplus funds and take uh, say one third of the position of your capacity so if you have capacity to buy three lots you buy one lot keep the balance two lots for the day to day volatility and that's when you will start seeing the benefits of it you know i think that is something which you can uh, take take care of that and secondly uh, equities you know at at one point of time there are some shares which have become zero uh, commodities we normally say especially agri commodities they'll never become zero so right. fundamentally commodity prices may not uh, become zero yes i mean in the past uh, the wti uh, crude uh, prices had gone negative but that was due to a different reason altogether that was due to due to due to the storage crisis the storage cost was higher than the crude oil price and that's why the prices had gone down but otherwise fundamentally commodity prices can never become zero so that itself is a motivation factor uh, so uh, have 3x of the margin requirement and then you can start and you are good to go basically awesome awesome abhishek lot of uh, lot of positive messages okay what are your thoughts any uh, i think we were actually uh, coming to the concluding part of this uh, webinar we can go on for some more time but i think it's, it's we, need, we need to wind up uh, uh, abhishek any any closing comment that you want to make before i uh, before i i conclude yeah please yeah yeah so uh, uh, ajay and sunil has put it correctly and uh, to just to summary summary uh, summarize it out agriculture sector is the backbone of our economy and indian government has laid the emphasis on providing better prices and transparency in the agricultural market and the participation that uh, that is seen in the commodity segment globally can be taken as a motivation are you there abhishek uh, am i audible yes yes uh, yes 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 yeah so what i was saying that participation in international market uh, can be taken as a motivation uh, you know to increase the participation in the uh, in the indices that are available in indian commodities market now and uh, definitely uh, 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 when when it comes to the trading in commodity for the beginners i would say uh, you also do your own research but there are uh, uh, people like you know ajay kedia and sunil katke and many other advisors Uh, you can take their help to understand or you know to start learning how to invest in commodities uh, exchange helpline is there a lot of uh, information is being provided on the exchange uh, website you can go and check out the basic fundamentals about any commodity that is getting traded on exchange platform so we also provide uh, uh, the knowledge like uh, the the uh, the uh, about a commodity that are trading on the exchange platform so there are many uh, things that you will find on our website as well so uh, this is how i want to summarize uh, uh, that you know now you should start taking participation first through the indices and then slowly and gradually into the commodity futures as well 
Thank you. Thank you, Abhishek. I think we have a product. We have a wonderful, wonderful product, which is, uh, which is the index. And of course, NCDEX is AgriDEX and several other uh, indices in the pipeline. Uh, it is necessary for uh, investors to start exploring uh, these products. And as I said earlier, given the expansionary nature of our economy, and we are going to expand over the next 20, 25, 30 years, uh, uh, indices will keep rising. There's no doubt at all. Uh, and, and, and therefore, uh, I think commodities are likely to give much better, uh, uh, good returns. Uh, our, our economic growth is going to be substantially commodity driven. There is, there is no doubt at all. That's a very separate presentation that I make uh, in, in, in other contexts. So with this, I think we will we'll conclude. I want to thank, uh, thank my friend Ajay Kedia, uh, uh, Sunil Katke, and of course, uh, uh, Abhishek for sharing their thoughts. I also want to sh uh, thank uh, Mr. Kurakiwala, uh, IMC president for, uh, for delivering the welcome speech. Although I missed it, I need to call and apologize to him. Uh, and, uh, uh, and of course, I want to thank Anita for facilitating all this. Thank you very much. Good luck. God bless you all. Let's stay connected. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll do, we'll do one more. Uh, event soon, hopefully, and uh, God bless, stay safe, and uh, let's conclude this event today. And any Thank questions, you. please, uh, you have the email IDs, uh, the participants can, can write to the panelists or to the, uh, to the IMC or to NCDEX. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.